Hey, hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Old Smoky, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Habanero and Mango Whiskey. First thing that's interesting about this is you notice it is not clear at any level. So I wonder about that part. I do know in brewing meats, when it comes to certain fruits, you will get a, well, what they call a flocking, which is a removal of the uh, contaminants, and it's difficult with certain fruits, more so than other fruits. So I guess mango is very difficult for it to flock out of itself. But yeah, mango habanero whiskey. According to the label, 750 mil bottle. There you are. Uh, Tennessee Mount May, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, USA. Whiskey with natural flavor, certified. Uh, caramel color added. Interesting. Caramel color added to this. The back has hardly anything to say. Just government warning. Old Smoky Distillery, LLC, from Gatlinburg, Tennessee, USA. Whiskey with natural flavor, certified color and caramel color added. Mango habanero. Oh, uh, real quick here, 70 proof. Let's let you know. So there we go. I've been trying this off and on. And... It leaves an impression, I guarantee you that. So, comes with a standard plastic cork, plastic top to it. Much like you would expect a nice bourbon to have. And there we go. It is a caramel color with a slight orange hue and definitely very, very cloudy with contaminant. Contaminant's too small to see, other than the fact that it gives it a cloud. And let's see. Da, 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 da. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. And the line's gone. Try it again. All right, and we wait, and the line is up. It's still there. All right, for those of you who are wondering what I am doing, you do this swirl, because I try not to get too much blinding from a, as you see, a poorly located key light. You do the swirl around. The swirl makes almost a line around. Now, one of the several purposes of this is that because it puts some of the alcohol up on the side of the glass, air gets in contact, you have a greater surface contact with the air around it. So when you go and you sniff it, you smell more of the spirit that is in your glass because it's covering much more of a surface area. It's up the side of the glass. That's one reason for this. The other reason for this, not as well known, is that you do this swirl to try to get it to tear or to leg up on the side of the glass. And that is when you do the swirling, you'll see what looks like like fine fissures or cracks coming through the fluid as it adheres temporarily to the sides of the glass. The longer it takes for that to start tearing up or getting legs, as it were, to come down, the more sugar is in the solution. The more sugar is in the solution, the thicker the mouthfeel, the more syrupy it is. Water, there isn't any, so there's almost none on the side. This stuff won't seem to leave the side, so it's just by visual you can tell that it's going to have a heavy, thick mouthfeel bordering on syrup, or syrup E, as it may be. So, that is why the little swirl. One for the nose, one for the eye. And yeah, there is no legs. There's no tearing, there is no legs. 
it just kind of fades out like it wasn't there in the first place. So, that pretty much means it's going to be really thick on the palate. According to my nose, and my nose is not the greatest nose of all, but, yeah, it helps from time to time, I smell nothing but habanero. Now, Old Smokey here is sort of known for making moonshine and some whiskeys. In this case, it is a whiskey. Uh, Old Smoky Tennessee Habanero Whiskey. So I'm expecting some sort of whiskey smell, which comes with uh, caramel and dried fruits and things on that line. There is none. I get nothing but uh, mango right off the bat. Not even a mango whiskey, just mango. Whew. Oh, man. Okay. So, please understand this is not a... That is bad. Please understand that. It's a matter of taste in this case. I get hit... Right off the bat, with mango, no whiskey, nothing along that line, nothing but heavy, thick mango. Like it's a mango juice right out of the refrigerator. Then, immediate slap with hot, absolute heat, much like an overdose of cinnamon. Just floods my taste buds. Uh, my significant other, she claims she gets this overall heat, but it acts like a shell around a heavy mango that kind of blooms in through the heavy pepper. A, a good, well, my, my, my one son, he talks about that thing gets a mango, then there's a gap, a break, and then this wall of pepper comes right on in. Either way, it is a heavy, heavy pepper that just comes right on in with the mango from the initial sip. But from there, my word, from there, the mango fades. And as it fades, it leaves you nothing but the pepper. Unshielded, unguarded pepper. And that pepper is just dominant. And it burns. And it has a really long hang time. Just absolutely throat crushing hang time on this. If you like hot sauce, this is the way to go. This is your jam. If you like really hot um, Mexican food, anything with just a lot of spice, uh, uh, hot Indian food, anything along that line, this would be an absolute favorite. It comes in sweet or has a sweet in the very beginning at one level or another, but man, that pepper just bowls you over. And if you're a fan of that heat, if you're a fan of that, you will love this. I myself, I like hot sauce on, on most of my foods. It's too much. Way too much. It burns too long, burns too hot. Not my thing. Um, my boy, he likes it to a point, and then he tried to water it down. First with ice. And then hoping that the melting ice will help take the edges off of it. He thinks it does. I have tried it with ice. And no. I'm sorry. It stays. Give it a try. See what you think. If you love hot, spicy, this is a way to go. This will not mix well with anything. No cola. No extra fruit. Nothing. It's, it's so strong with fruit flavors. 
it will dominate over any any kind of fruit cocktails. Soda cocktails, there's so much fruit, it's almost thick with it. It will won't it will not go well with that. This is a take it by the shot type thing. Way back in the day, when I was a much younger man, drinking with my friends, we would drink fireballs to start off the evening. This is the way to go. Everyone have a round of shots of this stuff to start the drinking. There, there you are. It just puts puts a beginning to a night of festivity. This is old smoky Tennessee mango habanero whiskey. Try it. See what you think. Any comments down below about this video product would be greatly accepted. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it for yourself. I hope you like it hot. And let the rest of us know your thoughts on old smoky Tennessee whiskey mango habanero. And let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts about this particular product. And until next time, keep on drinking.